Welcome back guys and in this tutorial we'll be creating an image slider that looks like this as you can see we have some images that are auto scrolling now if we want we can scroll them on our own like this as you can see now we have title here we don't have title here so we can do whatever we want and if we want we can just scroll back to the end and on scrolling further it can show up in the beginning so we can have all that so let's get started now first of all i'm lazy so i'll be using a library not a view pager so uh, you can find that library here it's a pretty cool library as you can see you can have different color background gradient backgrounds too so now this is the uh, dependency i'll give you the link to uh, link to this dependency in the description so you can check that out now First of all, let's create a new project and let's call that. Let's just have a, an empty activity. Let's call this my image slider. And everything else is fine. Let's just finish this. Finish this. All right. Okay. So now our building is complete and <clears throat> let's add that dependency here. Go to your app level. Uh, Gradle file and then just paste the dependency here right now don't sync right away because uh, this is in the maven repository so we need to add maven repository url in our Gradle file so let's add it here and now we can sync okay so the dependency is added successfully now let's get started with our what is it image slider let's create a layout this will be our main activity oh i wrote main layout let's write main activity and this is a layout not a values click ok Now let's split this view and add our image slider, right? The width, let's let the width to match parent because it should, as we can see here, it should always be the width of our parent, otherwise it doesn't look good. So let's, let's set this height to, what do you want to do? 196 dp, right? And what else do you want to do? Let's give this an ID because that's how we will be populating this with images. Let's just call it image slider. And do you want this to automatically, you know, as it is hitting, happening right now in three seconds, it's automatically switching to another image. So if you want that to happen, you just need to add is auto cycle and set that to true and hit alt enter to include this thing here okay now auto cycle is true since the auto cycle is true how long do you want it to you know be stable before it switches to another image let's take it to 3000 let's set it to 3000 milliseconds and that is three seconds now uh, what else do you want to do? Yeah, I think this is it. Let's check this out and now let's create our activity. In here we will create main activity, right? My spelling is wrong, activity. And this should extend app con compat activity as you might already know. And this shortcut is control O to override and then you just type on create and you override on create method and set content view to our layout and what's the name main activity all right now we want to reference the image slider so create a new image slider variable and just reference it find view by id what was the name of our image slider it was image slider all right now 
now to the good part now we have these images here that we are displaying right so these images should be in an array so we need to create an array of what object the object is slide model all right slide model let's call this images now we don't have these images with me at the moment uh, I mean it's not in this project so let me just copy this from the test project right open in show in explorer now where is my test project I had already tested that in image slider so I'll just copy these images right where are those images in resources drivers here now <laughs> you can have these images I'll zip them and zip them and add them to the link in the description now I've copied them and I paste them here just click on ok click on ok and those images are we have those images with us as you can see now you can find them in the zip folder in the description below all right now we add image add these the slide models to our error list so we create new slide model not slide new slide model and drawable dot comma and now we need to have a scale type that is none now guys if you have an, an image URL you can have that image URL here instead of this uh, drawable right so like this now let's check let's check it let's actually have an image URL right so let's go search for Goku here Let's go to images and okay this looks pretty good cool and let's right click here copy image location let's go back to our activity and here instead of another drawable let's let's paste that URL now that that is a pretty long URL but anyway it, it will work and here let's say loaded from URL all right load it from URL this is it and let's let's add another image here okay, you can just pause and do this thing or you can just search for another image this is not a scale type guys I'm not applying individual scale types here I'll apply a scale type to all the images at once so let's try it now we just go image slider and what was the method name add list okay I forget how do you add maybe set list or something like that yeah set image list and then you just pass on the image list like this now let's add this to our manifest so that we can run this and test this activities name is main activity now we need to set this set this as launcher right so we set the category as launcher and the action as main nothing else all right now let's just test this now this is what we this is the final result as you can see nice rounded edges here indicators here now let's see how far along we are all right so now we have our app running as you can see we made this and there is an error here because you know my emulator is not connected to the internet but you can if you have internet connection it will be working now as you can see here we have the basic slider working the title is also working but it doesn't look as good as you can see this is there is this boundaries here and there is no rounded images rounded corners so let's get to it now first of all 
to uh, make the image stretch or not stretch just appear full here what we want to do is we need to set a scale type here right and the scale type is center crop scale type of center crop now this will be full okay so that is good now let's also add some corners here to add corners to this thing you just need uh, a card view but I don't have my dependency for card view let's find the card view dependency card view dependency all right so the dependency is where is the dependency so, all right let's just copy this and add this to our dependency Okay, now <laughs> this is also copied. Let's remove that. Fix this. The shortcut is Shift, Control, Alt, L to fix this indentation, guys. What is wrong here? So we don't need this okay now let's sync it what is wrong here oh okay let's try it again now once this uh, recycler view or card view is done so that we have our corners we will see how we can click and that's it how we can click to you know do some action okay now let's add the card view itself and the card view is the view is match parent the height is wrap content and let's set the radius card corner radius to 12 gp and let's set app compact padding to true this is for compatibility with some lower versions guys so that the you know the padding is the same in all the versions now hit shift f10 and let's see how far we are now okay beautiful now we have as you can see beautiful rounded borders also this is looking pretty good right all right so now one final thing what do you want to do if you want to click on this and take some action as you can see right now nothing is happening on clicking it so to do that, this is pretty simple. We just say, we just uh, use our on item selected listener. Set on item, okay, set item, change listener. Item click listener, all right. Now new item click listener here. And here we get which item is selected. So uh, let's just show a toast here make test make text this and say item plus i plus selected so we know which item is selected right comma length short and show it now the click should be working okay why why do we have this error what are I've, I haven't used this in a very long time so let's see what we do we need we need a context we need string text and we need a duration isn't this all there is mm -hmm. let's copy it and let's just say something clicked how about that Why is this asking for a res ID? I think this should work. What is the problem here? 
let's just run it and see what error we get. To start make text. Argument mismatch. Okay, so this is, uh, I'm not sure, I just got excited, but yeah, this is it guys. So since we are inside this new, this thing, that this was referencing to, to this itself, not the activity. So we need to change this to main activity dot this. All right, now, all right, now let's run this and our click will be working. I hope so. If we click here, we can see item zero selected. And if we click here, we see item one selected. So we have our beautiful image slider. Thank you for watching guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And if this video helped, helped you, please subscribe and like that helps the channel. Peace out.